Woo. Okay, guys, listen, check this out. It is Monday morning, literally a day before this video drops. And yesterday, Sunday, my wife and I had the opportunity to go see this brand new movie called Sound of Freedom. And listen, if you have not gone to see this movie or maybe you're not familiar with this movie, I want to encourage you to make it a priority. Take your wife, take your boo, take your family members out on a date or whatever you gotta do, but make it a priority to go and see this movie this week. Now, here's the reason why. Listen, whenever you have Christian movies or movies that have a Christian message, uh, as this one does, as a matter of fact, the uh, same people who produce The Chosen, uh, the same uh, studio, Angel Studios, are the same people who are producing this movie, Sound of Freedom. If we as Christians don't go out and support these movies while they are in the movie theater, then what happens is they're in the movie theater for a few weeks and then the movie theaters don't pick them back up and they basically, people don't have a chance to actually go see them anymore because they're no longer in the theaters, right? We want a movie like this with a message like this, more importantly, to be seen as, by as many Christians as possible. So I'll be honest with you, the reason why I'm making this video is really twofold. And first of all, let me just say this, guys, no spoilers, don't worry, there's not gonna be any spoilers, but quite frankly, um, if you watch the trailer to this particular movie, you can pretty much get an idea of what the movie's about. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers or anything like that. And really it's based on a true story anyway. So if you read up on the true story, Essentially, it's a story about a man whose name is Timothy Ballard. He works for Homeland Security. Uh, essentially, he gets a conviction that he needs to quit his job so that he can go and uh, help free many children who are stuck in uh, the trafficking industry. I think you know what I'm talking about, right? The trafficking industry, right? And so essentially, uh, that's basically what the movie is all about. Once again, you can look at the trailer and things of that nature. But the reason why I'm making this video is twofold. Number one is awareness. Listen, you may or may not be aware of the issue as it relates to sex trafficking, right? Um, listen, this is a $150 billion industry per year. I'm talking about this industry trafficking children and smuggling them into slavery, right? Child slavery is, well, people in general, is a $150 billion industry. That means that it nets more than McDonald's, Netflix, Walt Disney, and um, uh, other companies as well, all combined, right? Look, there is an estimated 25 million people per year who are being sold into the trafficking industry and 10 million of them, according to the statistics that were shared in this particular uh, movie, are children. So the reason why I'm making this video, first and foremost, is to bring awareness to an issue that we all need to get involved and be concerned about, right? Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about why later. But the second reason why I'm making this video is exposure, right? I feel like I wanna use my platform to expose as many people as possible to a movie like this so that more people who are watching this video right now will be aware of the issue, go out and support the movie so that they'll tell other people to go out and support the movie and it'll be in the theaters as long as possible so that this message can be uh, reached to reach as many people as possible. So what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna share with you my overall thoughts about the movie itself. And then more importantly, I'm gonna share with you some personal takeaways that I got from the movie that hopefully will encourage you to take action as well. But real quick, if you are not really aware of the totality of the issue of trafficking, even in our country, United States, for those of you who live here, I want to plead with you, beg you, after you watch this video, do yourself a favor, take about an hour of your time, and I want to encourage you to watch this video that you see on the screen right now, it's a video that I did, an interview that I did with a friend of mine whose name is Jocko. He is very, very well involved with the trafficking industry. He has a whole organization that is dedicated to trying to eradicate trafficking. And uh, he will give you the lowdown, the real deal 
statistics, stories, what's really going on in this industry. Uh, no filter or anything like that. So I wanted to encourage, I'll put a link in the description box below uh, so you can check out that video after you watch this video. Okay, so my overall thoughts about the movie is that it was extremely well done. We wouldn't expect anything less from the producers of The Chosen, but listen guys, I mean, the storyline, the music, the cinematography, the character development, all of that was extremely on point, super professional and super well done. Now, as for my personal takeaways, uh, first and foremost, guys, the first thing that I took away is the fact that whatever God is calling you to do, it's going to cost you something, right? It's gonna cost you something. Here's a man, Timothy Ballard, who basically had to make the decision to leave his family and to ultimately leave his career to follow a calling that he felt was given to him by God to eradicate the trafficking uh, and to free some children from this industry, right? And so how does that apply to you and I? Listen, the greater the calling that God has on your life, the greater the sacrifice that you're gonna have to make. You're gonna have to give up something. I don't need to go through my story. You guys have heard my testimony, but every single time God ascended me to the next level of my calling and how I got here, I had to sacrifice something. Most of the time it was money. Most of the time it was it was, it was um, uh, status, comfort or whatever it was. But listen, whatever God might be calling you to do, whether big or small, it's gonna require you to sacrifice something, which means it's going to require you to exercise faith over your fear. And that's exactly what this man, Timothy Ballard did in order to fulfill his calling. The second takeaway that I got that really, really convicted me from watching this movie is that it is really, really easy for us to live in a bubble, as my wife and I were talking about this on the way home from the movie yesterday. And what I mean by that is this, it's easy for us to be over here in our suburban homes, driving our cars, in our little communities, going to our nice churches and things of that nature, and completely be unaware of the problems and the realities that are going on in the world right around us, maybe even the communities right around us, right? Listen, 10 million kids a year, I want you to get that in your mind. 10 million children like yours and like mine are being sold into this industry and being exploited and which I'll talk about in just a moment are being exploited so that people can watch them on the screen, do some crazy things. I think you know what I'm talking about, right? So guys, um, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are empathizing with other people. So let me explain what I mean by this. In the movie, Timothy Ballard basically at first was like, hey, you know what? My job is to catch the, the criminals, right? The pedophiles. But then he got a conviction and he said, you know what? Wow. I know I can catch the, the, the criminals, but what if this was my daughter? He had six children. He's a father of six children. So he started thinking, what if this was my daughter who was literally on a caravan, on a boat across the world, being forced into actions, taking her, having her innocence taken away? Like, what if this was my daughter, right? What would I do? And I think that for us, it's so easy for us to get caught up in our own situation, our own bubble, that it's difficult for us to step outside of our comfort zone and empathize with the hurts, the pains, the feelings, the realities of other people that may be going through things that if we would think to ourselves, say, wow, if this was me in need of help, in need of assistance, in need of money, in need of a place to, to live, in need of help, uh, you know, as I'm broke down on the side of the road or whatever it is, homeless, living under a bridge, what would I want people to do for me? And that really, really convicted me because I can be very self-centered and I'm sure many people watching this have the same type of uh, tendency as well. So I want to encourage us all to make sure that we get outside of our bubbles, step into the shoes of other people who are in need so that we can actually empathize with them and take action to actually help them as Timothy Ballard was able to do in real life and ultimately portrayed in this movie. The third takeaway that I want to encourage us all to consider is this. When you and I view inappropriate adult entertainment websites, we are directly putting our stamp of approval on this industry. 
I know you've heard me say that before, but I wanna look directly into this camera and speak directly to you. Guys, girls, when you watch this stuff, what you're doing is you are promoting, you are co-signing, you are putting your stamp of approval, you are helping this industry reach more people because you're watching this inappropriate activity. So I want you to do this. I want you to think about this. How would you feel if some dirty old perverted man or woman was watching your daughter on the screen do the things that you're watching these girls do? Some of them go into this industry by choice. Many of them go into that industry because they're forced into it because they've been trafficked, right? So just remember, the next time you're tempted to watch that, I want you to think about this is somebody's daughter. And what if this was my daughter? How would I feel if other people were getting their thrill by watching my little precious girl who may be of age, who may not be of age, doing certain things on the screen? I just want to put that in your spirit and put that on your mind. And hopefully that will help some of you watching this video to stop watching that inappropriate activity. Okay, my next takeaway is for us as parents to do whatever we need to do to talk to our children about how to protect themselves against these type of uh, experiences or uh, maybe if it's, maybe it's just something, uh, you know, maybe it's not being taken away to go to another part of the world, but maybe it's just a predator. Maybe it's somebody in the neighborhood, maybe it's somebody, their coach or somebody at the school, their teacher or a family member or, or whoever it is, right? A friend who comes to the house. Talk to your children early and often about how to protect themselves so that they don't get into a situation where their innocence is taken away from them against their will, obviously, which that's what it means to have your innocence taken away from you, right? Just make sure as children, we are having those conversations and we're not shying away from them. Okay, my next takeaway is this. No God-sized vision can be accomplished alone. So I'm talking to all of my visionaries out there, all of my dreamers, all of my purpose people, all of my, my people who feel called, all of my ministry leaders, all of my my pastors, all of my business leaders. Listen, if one of the things that we that you see in this film is that Timothy Ballard could not accomplish this by himself. He needed help. He needed assistance. He needed people to come alongside him to be able to pull this vision off. So what I want to encourage us is this. If you have a vision and you believe God's put your, this vision on your heart, if this is something you feel like you can pull off by yourself, it's not a big enough vision. It's not a God-sized vision yet. Because a God-sized vision requires that other people come alongside you and help you to pull this off. And let me go a step further. What's going to happen for you is that you're going to have to trust God to bring the right people into your life to help you bring forth and bring to fruition this vision that God has put on your heart because no God-sized vision can be accomplished alone, which leads me to my next takeaway. Guys, never underestimate the power of one. Oh my goodness, what do I mean by that? What if Timothy Ballard and millions of other people in this world said to themselves, ah, uh, you know what, I'm just one person. What can I do? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, hey, what big difference can I actually make in this world? So you have a vision, you have an idea God puts on your heart or whatever you believe God puts on your heart, and immediately you start talking yourself out of it. Well, man, you know, what good is this going to do? How is this going to help anybody? And, and who am I to do this? What if Timothy Ballard said, you know what, man, this is yeah, it's a nice idea, but, but I'm not the right person for this. I, how much difference can I really make in the world? Well, you know what? You may not be able to save the world, but you might be able to save one person. And as the old saying goes, you know what? It, it mattered to them, right? So you might be able to save one person. You might be able to save 20 people, 30 people. You might be able to impact those people. And so it, maybe you don't make a global impact, but it matters to the people that you impact. So never talk yourself out of what God has put on your heart simply because you're 
devaluing or undermining or underestimating the power that one person can achieve, one person can do. And my final takeaway is this. Don't just be a passive bystander. Do something to support this mission. If not for your own children, but for the 10 million children who are being sent away and sent into this industry and trafficked every single year. Do something to support. So I'm going to put a link to my friend Jocko's website and his organization down below. And that's just one. But get involved. Maybe send some money. Do something so that we can hopefully work together to eradicate seeing our children taking their having their innocence taken away from them and being forced into doing certain things that would against their will. So guys, I want to encourage you, whatever you have to do, go check out Sound of Freedom while it's in the theaters so that it can remain in the theaters as long as possible so that this message can be seen by as many people as possible. As a matter of fact, one of the spoilers I will give you is this. That at the end of the video, excuse me, at the end of the movie, they said that this movie was actually done five years ago. And every single roadblock that could have been, uh, there was so many different roadblocks that they could have hit that just kept keeping the movie from getting out, kept keeping the movie from getting out. And I tr per truly believe that that was the enemy trying to keep a movie, a message like this from reaching people. But God's will prevailed and the movie has hit the theaters. It's out now, and I want to encourage you to go check out Sound of Freedom. And when you do, you'll have an opportunity to be able to pay it forward and help somebody else who may not be able to afford to uh, watch the movie to go and see the movie as well. All right, guys, if you've seen the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'd love to engage in conversation with you. All right, guys, I'll see you next week because I actually had another video scheduled for today that I push back to next week. You're not going to want to miss that video. I'll see you again then. Bye for now. Hey guys, I know you're in the middle of watching a video, but check this out. I'm so very excited, guys. Listen, my book is out now, officially out. It's called Misled Seven Lies to Distort the Gospel and How You Can Discern the Truth. In this book, I highlight what I believe are the seven top, most destructive, most harmful false teachings that many Christians are being deceived by. And the sad thing is they don't even realize it. So click the link below so you can pick up a copy of this book so that you can sharpen your discernment so that you are no longer vulnerable and you'll be able to discern truth from error. Okay, go ahead and get a copy of the book. Click the link below. Back to the video.